So in tonight's Tales from the Tight case, we have a little bit of an unusual case. And it's something that you see a fair bit in letterpress uh, printing uh, establishments. But it is, I call it the Dingbat case. And basically, it is uh, sort of odd sorts from border material, decorations, fleurons, minuscules, all that sort of stuff. And this one came to us through nefarious means, and we just wanted to show you what's going on. So in this case, we have, again, a lot of border material, and if I can get it out, you'll also notice it's a California job case, and some of the compartments are packed tighter than an eagle's arse in a power dive here. It's tough to get them back in the case sometimes, um, so there can be border material, you'll see here, here, here. These are individual border pieces, 12 points. These are longer strips of border material. And also individual pieces of type, individual, this is sort of a, a nice little smoke decoration. And uh, so also in here we have... Uh, you know, little flower type ornaments. And a lot of this stuff comes from the ATF catalog. And you could order it, you know, in different point sizes. If I could actually get this back in here. So you'll see there's, you know, different, uh, different pieces that have come down to us through the years. And you'll notice some of the sizes here are just incredibly small. And what some of this is, is this is six point copper plate Gothic. You'll find that every letterpress printer has in the past or currently a six point uh, <laughs> copper plate Gothic. It was the one of the standards or bank Gothic as well. And also in here, we have some accented uh, letters, so some uh, French accents, uh, because we are in Canada, and French is the second language. So, um, we also have some other uh, more famous border material here. And also, we have, I think this is supposed to be <laughs> holly, so that would be used at... Uh, Christmas time. And then also up here we have other decorative elements. So if we're looking to spice up our work, we will go and grab some ornaments out of here or if we need some border material. And there's lots of it. And I also wanted to show you a catalog that I have of type that uh, shows these borders in a little better detail. So what we have here is the Moore Tight Foundry catalog from, I'm guessing, 1969 or 70. And you can see here it's uh, got some lovely uh, metallic ink. Uh, if you're in need of type, call 364-1189. And it's also a price list. And if we flip to the back, we have our borders and decorations section. And you can see we have some Christmas borders here and Christmas decorations, two colors, some of them. And new type saves time, of course. You need to get those presses rolling and make money. So we also have some foundry borders here. And you can see they're looking a little ecclesiastical, a little Victorian. So we also have uh, the decorations here, some of them. We have 24 point there, and we have another 24 point. So we have, I'm not really sure, the burning bush maybe, and the burning Bible. Uh, so there we go. And this was cast, the pin mark indicates that this was cast by ATF. So they would order it in. We also have some other things in here. 
So if you were in need of just, say, a percent mark in, you know, Onyx or Flash or Brush Script or, of course, Glamour Medium, um, so they had all these different things, scent marks, scent marks, dollar signs in all the different, uh, you know, different typefaces, Stymie Extra Bold, little things like pound signs, uh, slashes, at symbols, and different characters as well. Stars were quite popular. If you're making up a form as well, if you're making up a form, you would need, you know, check boxes and things like that, asterisks on their own. So we'd also have brackets, braces, gull wing brackets, uh, the famous, you know, denominations or uh, suits of cards, circles, squares, crosses. And then we get into some of the more decorative things, you know, <laughs> the poison made in Canada. We have a, f a few of those. We also have some uh, Union Jack ones, the skull and crossbones, different phases of the moon, the old Canadian maple leaf, eh? And... The pointy fingers or manuscules or fists, if you want to call them that. Of course, <laughs> telephones were important. That's what they used to look like. Some more um, maple leaves at this time of the year as well. We have turkeys, although you don't have to kill a turkey at Thanksgiving. It's not cool. Uh, fractions, lots of fractions. And also I love that this catalog was sort of cannibalized by whoever was using it. So I imagine they must have had it around when they were doing offset work and they must have cut it up and done paste up on it. <laughs> you can see a piece here eh, has been cut out and pasted up. So one of these little uh, spears and all sorts of things going on again here. Two color things, two color decorations, and other squares, starbursts, things like that that you would use. Arrows are quite popular, and some more fractions. And of course, we also have all the Masonic components here. So, um, yes, in case you want to sacrifice a goat. And we also have in the shop here some of these smaller printed in Canada's that we'll dig out in another type case. Now the other thing is, if we go back to the front here, you'll see it gives uh, prices here. So, um, character signs, borders, ornaments, fractions. So in the different sizes, it would have the different things per pound or per piece. So if you were buying one of these burning Bibles, it was 20 cents each. And if you wanted a whole pound of them, it would be $4 and 24 point. So um, yeah, you could buy it by the pound, by the piece. Remember, call 364-1189, area code. So area codes were introduced then, so. Oh, these were effective January 1st, 1969. Just notice that. So there we go. So that is a little quick edition of Tales from the Typecase for this week. And we'll be back next week with more fun.